ongoing powder coating. We're going to bring DAF up and we're going to uh, look at these front wheel bearings and uh, see what's going on there. And um, I've already cleaned everything. I got a couple other little, th I'm, I think I'm going to drop her down and do a little work on her. There's some little things in here I want to do. And uh, so let's just do that. And uh, before we take her back up again. So nothing to do back here. I have changed the oil back there. I did that a year or two ago, so that ought to be fine. So let's powder coat the uh, drums, let's make them all look like this drum right here. Let's finish the wheels and let's get this monkey off my back because this takes a long time, hours and hours and hours. So if you're gonna get into powder coating, you've got to learn to be patient. So let's see, I got the water heating up. I might make some brake lines in the back for DAF today once uh, I've got the, the two uh, brass brake pieces in there, the, the T-pieces, and uh, they're heating up too. So, see a little smoky going on out there? So whenever you want the wind to change and blow smoke right into your barn, you, uh, you do that. <laughs> yep. Now, I would say three minutes ago it was blowing the other way. There it goes. Going the other way now. All right. Well, the smoke might keep the birds out. That might be good. Woo! Why do you do this to me? Okay. We don't do unboxing videos here, but in this case, I'm going to I'm going to make a <laughs> make an exception. <laughs> I got it precariously perched there on. So let's see what we got here. All right. I'm. This, I'm glad I ordered this ahead of time. So this, uh-oh, what's it going to be? Well, look at that. There's a Ford truck. <laughs> Way to go, Eric. Well, we got to do our thing, don't we? Well, we know where you can find a better truck than that one. That one. You guessed it. It sure is quiet in here, isn't it? It's a quiet day. So let's, uh... Put it in the right spot here. So there's my collection other than the one Sean owes me that I'm sure is long gone. Okay, well luckily this order was put into uh, two separate boxes, I think. We're about to find out. Well, I tried to make some sense of it all. So we've got, uh, that's quarter, I think. Yep, quarter. Use my knife there. Be careful of that knife there, okay? And there's three sixteenths, and there I am. Oh boy, there's. I think this is going to be the cylinder. Okay, that's good. I went to a lot of trouble to pack that thing. Good for them. So I'll make sure there's three things. Now this is the 1958. Uh, Master cylinder, I think. It feels like a master cylinder. Ooh, it smells like a master cylinder. Yep, that's a master cylinder. But I don't know quite what to do with it until I get the bracket. So this tandem cylinder is going to be taking the place of this very archaic, I believe as you went back to the Carthaginians, uh, master cylinder here. And uh, so... I don't, I gotta make sure that that uh, proportioning valve fits in there. So we're gonna put that right there. And I got three of these done. One's in the oven. And uh, so I'm not sure if uh, this probably has the little bleeder things in it. Uh, I think I bled a master cylinder or two in my time. But it don't hurt the real. Stop! Should be bench blend. I believe in that. Now, I know that what's his name, uh, Derek, up at uh, Vice Grip Garage, he don't do that. Uh, I don't see any harm in it. So we're going to put that there and that there. Keep it all together now. Okay, uh, so I've already kind of... I want to do the wheel bearings first. But I've already started laying out for putting the line in here. The uh, absolutely, totally replumbed lines. So... Uh, We'll put those there. There's my old pieces and my 
my kind of antiquated bender, a little insulation, some a bunch of these stainless steel pull ties, and uh, and then my other tool cutter. I need a better pipe cutter. And I got my Eastwood tool out back over here, my uh, flaring tool. How much longer do I have in the oven? So I'm ready to go. Don't think I'm going to get to that today. It's getting late. So here's my Eastwood tool, my flaring tool. So how long do I have? Ten minutesons. Okay. And I got all my pieces in here. Uh, they've been soaked. Let's see, I got some fresh fluid in there. It's amazing how dirty the thing gets. I mean, that thing really, really works. Okay, the wheels are done anyway. That's big because these are double dipped. They have to be uh, done and then baked and then hot coated. That gave me a, at least a uniform finish. I don't even know which one it was that gave me the trouble. So still got the silicone bits and that one's that one's still hot. So that's done. So I got three uh, drums to do and then that'll be it uh, for power coating. It's like two solid days. Hope when I take it to get the tires put on and don't don't mess them up. I think those guys are pretty good guys. So I can't wait to get them done. And uh, golly, you need any puzzles? Yeah, they're just sitting here waiting on me. And uh, gotta find a way to get them there. I'll get them there somehow. Bonnie's running pretty good. I think I can get all this stuff in Bonnie. Uh, get the tires in the back seat and get the uh, wheels in the boot and we'll just head on out to Morsel. I don't have to get on any major roads, so that's big there. All right, well, that's it for today. Oh, i got to work on dishwasher. Believe it or not, that, that's what that means. <laughs> Let's go after this wheel bearing and maybe just tighten it up. But uh, look at this. I got my tripod out. That'll make everybody happy, won't it? Uh, so until then, you got to hit that subscribe button, right? One more time. Uh, I think that'll do right about... Careful, let back down. There you go. All right, now let's uh, mount this thing up and get it set up and get my. Oh no, where is it? Uh, I'll find it. Where'd it go? Where's that thing? It's always disappearing on me. You don't need much to get this cap off, it's just a rubber mallet. There you go, see, ours to it. Oh, I gotta go get my uh, my kit for uh, split pins, right? And there's some other brake parts. Well, we'll talk about those later, so I'm gonna go get my pin kit. Okay, pin kit, there it is, got her. It's all set. Let's get some, uh, oh, let's get these and let's get these, these below, belong to Buzz Zoller, and uh, he's a very nice fellow. He uh, and his wife Rita. Look, well, that was long enough, wasn't it? Uh, they were from Houston, and they moved to North Carolina, and I got to know them, and uh, they had an emergency and went back to Houston and they never came back and they liked me and they just decided it wasn't even worth dealing with the stuff that they had left behind so they gave it to me so isn't that, isn't that nice I sold some of it and sent them some money it's nice of me too I just throw that away now let's just now uh, how many times have you seen this before on on YouTube? Ooh, that's one whole flat.
So I got a feeling one more flat is going to be too much. Yep. That can't be more perfect right there. Now, I don't know if there's... Uh, what there's going to be here. I don't think that's going to be too big. But there's not any anywhere else. I don't think. Nope. So that's all I got. So one flat end is nothing to be ashamed of. Nice to have that fixed. Uh, that looks pretty greasy in there to me. Let's take a look anyway. You want to? I kind of want to. Might pack a little. Now they say, and I don't know if this is true or not, but grease tends to migrate toward the inboard of the car or truck or whatever it is you got your hand hold of there. And uh, so we all know how this works. Do that. Oh yeah, yeah. I converted this. I think I'm going to pack those. Repack those. What do you think? I think I'm going to do anyway. I don't care what anybody says. Hmm. Just put your put your hand on them. Those feel fine. They don't look burned or anything. The race looks good. Okay. Well, let's just. Let's just pack some new grease in this one. I don't, I'm not going to, I don't have rear seals in stock for this thing or anything. So I'm just going to pack some new grease in this and we'll put her back together here in just a minute. Yup. Okay. Just pack a little bit in there. Ain't going to go wrong. So that, you know, it don't look great, but it's fine. I am not afraid of it in any way. Oh, come on, don't be that way. Let's use these up. Uh, well, these for years. That's from when I took that Bronco apart for, for the Gibbs family. Okay. Oh. Just dandy. Okay, so we got to get this back in. It doesn't have a key in it. That's very strange, but that's okay. That's all right with me. What supple wrist I have, huh? All right. All right, let's... See, that's too tight. And there we are right back where we were. That's a little better. I would like to get that a little tighter, but that's okay. I do not go anywhere near the interstate or anything like that. I go near it. I go under it and over it in old DAF here. But uh, and you want, most people like that locked like that. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. All right, now the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. So there's nothing much for you to see. This is almost real time stuff I'm doing here. I have, uh, I have not done, I got that timer's going to go off back there any second. And that's probably the original cap. I don't know. And then, ta da! And that's all there is to it. That's about what you want. I mean, and you don't want any play in it. I had broken a couple of these studs off. I, it was the first time I used an acetylene torch, and I was heating it up, knock it off. And man, I didn't realize you were dealing with the surface of the sun hot. Uh, dealing with the torch, I remember that kind of scared me. Whoa! It just started melting the thing. I, was, I mean, I knew they got hot, but I didn't think they got that hot that quick. Okay, well, let's spin on to something else. A. Eh? They got me all nerved up about walking around my own shop now, consarn it. Well, I'm just going to keep doing it. I'm going to get your manager, the zone rep, or the owners, or somebody. I'm going to get over this thing. Walk around my shop with my camera all I want to. Everybody else does. So we've got uh, most of the drums done. One's in the oven, and that's going to be that's going to be a closeout. <sighs> got to be done by 7:30. I got to be up at the house. Okay, so uh, 
I'm gonna let that sit there just a little brief minute more. There's a there's a black brake drum in there. So I gotta clear coat these tomorrow. And then we'll hope for some more parts to come in and uh, get things going. So it's been uh it's been sort of interesting. Oh, I did the other side. It was one flat off too. I don't know if I told you already. But yeah, it was off one flat and I put a little grease in it, but there you go. This one, for some reason, has two, you know, drills in it. The other one just has one. I looked at it very carefully. The other one, I'd be from 1957. I mean, really, you know, this this could have been changed, but I'm sure that it maybe was. Or something, that, I don't know. You know, don't know. So this one had this way and that way to put the split pin in, and the other one just had this way. So very strange. So anyway, there's the other drum, and uh, there's still some drum. But that's okay and I'm gonna hit it real hard with some uh, maybe 80 grit sandpaper and knock the glaze off of this and knock the glaze off of that and uh, it's gonna be good all right so let's go in and then let's pick up on this tomorrow so I'm gonna crack this door I'm gonna clear coat all three of these tomorrow and put them all three in the oven clear coats a whole different ball game don't have to worry about it making black gray do you I hope not there it is Well, it's uh, 11.30, and we are just got some stuff in here. So let's see what it is. Don't cut your, your furniture up doing this. Where is my... Okay, it's in a good spot. I'm just real close. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh... Uh, You know, I was talking to somebody about this the other day. I'm really okay with these things. You can save them, or you can throw them in the plastic recycle bin with the uh, the uh, other bags, your plastic bags, and there you go. So, uh oh, that's not a good sign. Hmm. I hope that doesn't end up being true when you use their car parts. <laughs> All right. Oh my, I'll tell you what, let me just open these boxes because this has got the big uh, copper staple in it and that takes a while. I guess we could do this one. Let's see what this is. And I'm. Oh! Yeah, I'm kind of relaxing a little bit. So here is the proportioning valve. Hey, you might could use those uh, to uh, bench bleed your, your uh, master cylinder, huh? I'm real. Ooh, boy, that's heavy. No wonder the box weighs 10 pounds. So there's, there's. I was talking to Mick about this just a few minutes ago. There's a shuttlecock in there. And so when it makes, if you lose one side of the system, the shuttlecock will go across and hit ground and cause your brake light to come on. So uh, I've heard that some guys do buzzers and lights. And there's the connector. So this will go, I'm gonna put a brake light in it. Ooh, there's the bracket or a bracket. Maybe D bracket. Oh, well, that's D bracket for something. This stuff's heavy. And there's a little little packet of hardware. Oh, all right. Well, I don't know about what's in there. Let's smash my glasses over there. And uh, let's get into this thing. I just remembered one time I was actually in Daphne and I was in Davidson where I grew up and uh I was going to the dump and I had several trash bags full of peanuts and uh, one of them blew out and just obliterated on the road and dumped, I don't know, a 55 gallon bag of peanuts. I felt terrible. But uh, anyway, not much you could do at this point, huh? So I was, oh, oh boy. You gotta like a company that sends you stickers. So there we go. Okay, got a sticker. Oh man, got two stickers? Those are pretty too. They're different than, those will go right on Spitfire. I was thinking of having a little sticker ceremony for this thing. Uh, so this is all of that stuff. Okay. So here's the gigantic bracket that goes where the, oh, oh there's the pivot pin. I'm glad I saved that. Of course, I 
save most everything. Uh, so that's the bracket that helps the master cylinder. So we got to go get the master cylinder and see uh, what happens there. And there's your bolts. Oh, it comes with a new pivot pin. What nice guys. And then there's uh, the stuff that goes, the adjustable things that go to the bottom of the pedal. Wow, what a fun day. The only thing I don't have are, are my three uh, rubber hoses, but you know, they're, they're coming. They're coming from Rock Auto. So, okay, well, let me read the directions and I'll, uh, I'll walk you through it when we get there. I'm going to have to probably uh, end this episode here pretty soon because it is uh, uh, not a sponsor. I'm supposed to say that. Uh, because it's getting kind of long. It's, it's gotten, went from getting new tires to this. So that's the way it is. One of my concerns was uh, the T-fitting for the uh, front. You know, what am I going to do there? And this takes care of that. This thing has uh, a separate... That, that's your rear uh, going to the back brakes. And there are two. There, there are two Audis for the front. So the front wheels uh, will be separate. You don't need a T-fitting. How cool is that? So this one, it goes to the right. And the one, it, one down here goes to the left. It says that's optional and you can plug one off, but not me. This is a built-in T-fitting. And there's your electrical connection. So, so these are in, innies right here, and that's your back Audi. I think I've got some uh, fittings that big, and because that's a big old sucker. And then uh, these split the front. That is groovy. Uh, so, uh, and then they give you the torque specs down here, and you know it's a pretty simple wiring job, I'd imagine. They got an amber light there. I don't know what kind of I put some kind of super bright LED because you want that to be something that you're very highly aware of and uh okay so that's really nice thing you could kill somebody hitting them with that thing that thing is really heavy and beautiful so for 55 to 59 i don't that's a different thing so there's that i am impressed very good work here so this is this kit here uh it's got a lot of stuff, doesn't it? Each of these things were $99. Most of this I've already done, so that's good. Uh, that little line there, it's always one little line will get you. Uh, it may be necessary to make new hard lines. Well, I, it's going to be completely necessary for all of mine to be made. So that's what it's going to look like in the end here. And there's an interesting little table. I like stuff like this. Uh, it takes a certain amount of... Uh, Gravitas to uh, just put that right on there, but you see grade five bolts and torque spec. And this is a good general uh, rule when it comes to torque specs. specs. If you don't, uh, there's grade five and grade eight. I'm real surprised by that. Very nice, nicely done. And don't really have a breakout of the parts like an exploded diagram, but I don't think you need it very much. It's very descriptive. I'm, I'm very impressed. It's all just on this one sheet. So that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty cool.